All right, so this is a suggestion via Patreon. The name of the video is Bill Burr on Caitlyn and Bruce Jenner. All right, guys. Listen, if you guys are new here, please like and subscribe. The more that you like this content, the more that I know that you specifically would like to see. More of the specific type of content. Oh, guys, I'm almost I'm almost frightened by what he's about to say here, but we're, we're going to get into this, guys. Let's check it out. All right, guys. That's what killed me when Bruce became Caitlyn. That was like a national news story, like yeah. on a, at a ridiculous level. Right. I will say that it was a little unnecessary. I mean, most likely it was so large because of who they were, right? It's like baby seals washing up on the beach because there's no fish left, and they're talking to this this lady, you know. <laughs> Like, so Bruce, are you gonna go, can your Olympic back handle a D, D cup or are you gonna go with like something a little more perky? No, I'm not being a jerk. I'm not saying that in, in any bad way. I'm just saying, I miss that guy. I miss him already. <laughs> <laughs> he should have told us. He should have given us a chance to say goodbye. I love, you know, I watched him on the Olympics. Uh -huh. I watched him on chips. I mean, he's not wrong, right? I mean, I didn't grow up with Bruce Jenner as any, anyone. I didn't even know he existed until later in life, right? Um, but yeah, so I can imagine if you grew up as a kid and Bruce Jenner was like the man, right? The Olympic hero on the Wheaties boxes and things like that. I can imagine how it would be somewhat traumatic if that's what you looked up to as a child, right? Um, so, and now that he, now all of a sudden he's gone. Right? But I get it. You know, I watched him on the Olympics. Uh -huh. I watched him on chips. I watched him on that horrible show my wife watched where he just walks around in the background. <laughs> and then it's just like, oh, the and nobody listened to him. It's just, it was just, it was so sad. And then, I don't know, I don't know where. It's just, he just, and then he's, he's Caitlin. Then you couldn't react, you can't, couldn't on any level be like, oh my God, you know. What the F? You, on any level, right. you no. couldn't say that. Or are you no, automatically no. homophobic? It's yeah. like, dude, I didn't hear your inner thoughts. <laughs> I didn't know what you were doing. All of a sudden, you're supposed to... <laughs> dude, you shaved your beard off. People were like, oh my God, that's your chin? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> this guy walked out. A dude came back, a woman. You're just supposed to be like, oh yes, anyways, Caitlin, that's all I was saying. Right, I mean... <laughs> He's making a good point, but absolutely. You definitely can't say anything regarding anything because... in at the end of the day, it's, you know, it's, it's their life, right? Um, but I also understand both parts of it. Um, so Bruce Jenner is like, okay, I'm not who I think I am, right? Okay, do your thing, right? But again, the people who worshipped him growing up is, they're kind of like, wow, but they can't say anything because, of course they can't say anything because that very specific topic would be deemed as what he stated, guys. The housing crisis. <laughs> I think the bubble's creating again. I was just, uh, God, right. God bless him. I God stop. bless her. Sorry, they really freak out about the pronouns too. Yeah, yeah. You say God bless him and they're like, her! Yeah. Oh, it's crazier now, bro. I don't know when this was filmed, but it's crazier now. Um, be exactly who you want, but don't expect other people to have to join the cause, right? I mean, we. I think we still have freedom of speech, right? Sorry. Uh, you can see Bill's show. Does, you can see Bill's show. Does anybody remember laughter at Madison Square Garden as part of the New York Comedy Festival on November 14th? For tickets to all of Bill's tour dates, visit BillBurr.com. I love talking to this gentleman right here. I never know what he's going to say, Bill. Right. You never really know what he's ever going to say because he doesn't. I don't think he does either, honestly. I think this is what makes Bill Burr such like an amazing comedian. I don't think he is even, I don't think he even writes or practices anything. He just speaks and is hilarious. Uh, to encounter someone who literally does not care what he is saying, right? This plain spoken, ornery man, right? That's Bill Burr, right? This is why I think we all love him and for the most part are attracted to his delivery. 
He's great at this. He's meant to do this very specific thing. I'm glad he found it, right? But all right, listen, let me know in the comments on the next thing from him that I should be checking out, and I will get into that as soon as I possibly can, all right? Listen, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day. Enjoy it thoroughly. Thank you.